What's up, YouTube? Um, this video is going to sound really echoey and really shitty, and my apologies. This is my very plain bathroom. You can see my cute little mushroom up there. I'm not much of an interior designer, but let us not wait for the real tea. I'm not even going to make you wait for the wiping bit. Let's just get straight into it. These are my nails and um, these are not good nails that I have right now. These are actually really grown out. You can see how far grown out and they were actually a really bad product also. I'll be sharing with on my next video like the the poly gel that I tried to use was garbage. I mean it came out looking pretty I guess but it's not a good product. Anyways so my wiping habit, which is lawyers, let me bring you guys down a little bit. And Casey's not here, he's working late. My husband, Casey. Oh, I forgot, this is my first uh, video on another channel. So my name is Rachel and this is Rachel's so-called life. It's like a vlog channel slash like, just whatever. Just whatever I feel like creatively. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, so here's my toilet paper. Here is my left hand. So what I'm gonna be doing is, I've been wiping like this since I was a kid. So I take it and I wrap it around my hand like this, like this, okay? And then once I wrap it like this, like I wrap it and then I transfer from one hand to the other the whole wad of toilet paper. So it once was, my hand was inside it and now it's over here and you can see, like I don't have nails that curve, like most of my nails are very straight. So it's the exact same angle as what my fingers would be. So when I wipe, you see, like I kind of pinch it between my two fingers here. All of my nails are guarded by the toilet paper, just like if your fingers we're right here, it would still be guarded by a multiple ply of toilet paper. Wipe, you see, you wipe with that, okay? And then if you need to come back again, if, you're, if your wad was wide enough, you fold, you see? Still, you see still, no fingers are exposed. I'm just holding it flat with my thumb right here. You see what I'm saying? And then you wipe, you see? Then you wipe. And then you toss, you see? And we'll do it again. I wrap it like really tight around my hand like that. Go like that. Pull. And I don't know how you guys are wiping your asses <laughs> or what kind of digging motion that you're participating in. But I don't dig, like I wipe like, like everybody else. Like I don't know how you guys wipe, but nothing happens. And I wash my hands after I wipe, so, you know, I don't know. You guys are weird. I, you guys think I'm the weird one? I think you guys are the weird one. It's like, how do you wipe your ass? Like, what kind of scooping, digging motion are you using that you assumed that I would do that? Y'all are tripping. Not me. You. Now that you've seen me do something crazy, like wipe on the internet, but not really, but just show you how I do it, which is weird. I hope I have quenched all of y'all's thirst about how I wipe. Um, but more importantly, why I wear long nails. So I developed psoriasis, which is a skin condition, an autoimmune skin condition, um, shortly after my son was born. And, um, it really affected the way that I dressed. And I know that doesn't sound like it has a lot to do with nails, but it really did. I was a very feminine, I was in a stage in my life where I was feeling very feminine, you know, I just had a baby and everything was like, you know, I don't know. I just felt really feminine and I dressed really feminine at the time. And um, when the psoriasis started popping up, it got really bad on my legs and it got really bad on my elbows. And it was um, kind of really tough to deal with because like I was a, a tom girl or a tomboy type of girl. So I'd always be wearing like shorts and hanging out with the guys and I'd always have a tan year round and 
um, very free spirited type of person. And I feel like when I got psoriasis, it really, you know, caused me to pause, I guess, when I was getting ready and I was putting on clothes because people would, when they would see my psoriasis, they would be like worried about it being contagious, which sucks, but it's just the way people are. And I realized that and that's fine. So I just kind of started developing a, a way of dressing over the years, you know, over the past, I don't know, 13 years coming up that just kind of covered my psoriasis. And I felt like I had to put a lot of my uh, femininity on the shelf. You know what I mean? Like I felt like I used to express myself in the way I dressed a lot more than what I do now, because a lot of times I'll wear long sleeves or hoodies, or I always wear leggings. I'm never in shorts. I don't even own a pair of shorts. Um, you know, my legs are literally, you know, my legs are pretty eat up with psoriasis and they're also white as snow because they never see the sun. And I know before everybody starts telling me in the comment section that you're supposed to get a lot of sun and yada, yada, yada. Well, you know, comment section MDs can be fun, but I try not to take medical advice from uh, the comment section, but um, I'm just saying, long story short is, you know, getting psoriasis and getting psoriatic arthritis and having my joint problems and everything else, I feel like when I started getting nails done, I was like, this makes me feel really good. Like my nails made me feel like really good, like super feminine and like in a way I hadn't felt in a while because of all the other struggles that I had going on. And I started at a normal length with acrylics and I think that most people do start at a normal length. And then I was like, I love this so much that, and I had been watching YouTube videos like crazy, you know, like just watching other people do nails. And I was like, I think I could really do this. I think I could do it. So I went down to Sally's, you know, and I bought like the little, the little kit or whatever that came with the acrylic liquid and the powder. And I've got a ton of that stuff and I'm planning on showing you like my little collection of what I have, but I don't really do acrylics anymore. I do more poly gel nowadays, but when I first started my hobby of like doing my own nails, it was kind of like a challenge to see like how long I could make them or could I use the nail forms instead of the nail tips, you know, to make a more dramatic tip length and stuff like that. And I really struggled with it with acrylics. So when I was wearing acrylics, I never really got that long in length. It was more of like a stylized and always encapsulating things in the clear glitter or the clear acrylic. And when I started experimenting with the super long length, it's since I've been on my YouTube channel, it's the first time I've been able to have the super long length because I could never do it with acrylics. So I did it with the soft gels instead and it was much easier. And I'm gonna show you guys on the next video how I do like my soft gel. It's almost like a dual form type method, but you don't pop off the actual, you know, whatever you're using for a dual form, it's just soft gel tips. But whenever I watch this chick, her name is Femi Beauty, F-E-M-I Beauty on YouTube and she does these absolutely freaking gorgeous nails. If you're not into long nails, don't look. They're beautiful though. And she really inspired me and she said that you could use these like soft gel tips, these really extra extra long soft gel tips and I've just never looked back since. So I've only had nails this long for like, I don't know, six months. I don't know, I, time and space is a mystery to me y'all but I haven't had them super long time and they just make me feel really, really good. That's why. Um, I don't know why. I like it. That's why I guess I feel, I feel good. I feel feminine. I feel fancy. Um, they make me feel like I look fancy, even though I'm not wearing like very feminine clothes and things like that. Like, I don't know. This is probably a lot of information for you guys to like, know all at once but I mean it's just reality you know I have a lot of problems you know I may not have acne on my face area but 
I have psoriasis that is that cracks and bleeds, you know, all over my body. And thank you, Jesus. I haven't gotten it on my face because I feel like that would be, you know, I'd get, I'd get through it, but it would be really hard. And I don't know. I, I wear nails because they make me feel pretty. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Love you. Bye.